welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can support our leader Mazen and the Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream and restoration a reality. He say the so-called repentant Fulani terrorist bandits in the Nigerian Air Force bombarded communities in Southern Kaduna with the recently acquired Super Tecano helicopter gunships recently bought from the United States of America. You know, the Fulani terrorists with the Super Tecano helicopter gunship attacked Southern Kaduna in their final push to take over Southern Kaduna. The Fulani terrorists who are operatives of the Nigerian Air Force and former Boko Haram terrorists were very frustrated that their Fulani terrorist ground force are not making progress. So they took the idle Super Tecano helicopter gunship recently purchased from the United States of America to bombard Southern Kaduna Christian communities. They killed more than 45 men, women, children, elderly, disabled in the community. And the Fulani terrorists, Nigerian Air Force operatives, also destroyed houses and properties, set them ablaze. According to inhabitants of Adara community in Southern Kaduna that have proved so difficult for the Fulani terrorist Janjaweed to take over after they started emulating Eastern Security Network lamented that about 45 persons lost their lives in a helicopter-aided attack by Fulani terrorists who raised houses including their local church in the area. They blew down the local church. They blew it down. You know, the air attack lasted for more than six hours on challenge by the compromised Nigerian security operatives. After the helicopter attack, the Fulani terrorists on 150 motorcycles carrying three armed terrorists each invaded the bombarded Southern Kaduna Christian communities. The Fulani terrorists were dropped by helicopters after the air bombardment, according to an eyewitness who said that the Fulani terrorists use helicopters to coordinate the attack. My brothers and my sisters, Igbo traders who closed down Alaba market to register for PVC were chased away by Lagos State thugs. Lagos State thugs. The scent that was sent to disrupt the process of Biafrans collecting their PVCs in order to vote in 2023 elections. These are Lagosians in our John local government area of Lagos State that Lagos thugs sent by the Lagos Yoruba politicians stopped and chased the Igbo traders away from registering to vote in 2023 elections because their leader fears that Peter Obi will disgrace them even in Lagos. They are afraid. Instead of them to go and, you know, campaign to their people, they are busy trying to disenfranchise Nibu in Lagos from voting. After they had 
connived with the Fulani Janjaweed to deny Ndebo chances of becoming president by zoning the presidency to Southeast. That is if Nigeria still exists. You know, there is plan to chase Biafrans residing in Lagos out of polling units during 2023 elections. And the chief Lagos state thug, MC Oluomo, has been mandated to use his voice to ensure that Biafrans do not vote in Lagos the same way they use the thugs to attack Igbos trying to vote in Lagos in 2019 and also use the same thug to disrupt the NSAS protest in Lagos. In as much as Biafrans are embarking on a massive collection drive for PVCs, to vote in the Fulani Frontland Nigerian elections, that their vote does not count. Biafran need to shine their eyes, and the ultimate goal is to ensure that Biafra is restored at all costs, so that all Biafran businesses will move to Biafra, and the same enemies of Biafra will rush to collect visas to visit Biafra for businesses and to stay. The Fulani Nigerian government blame Islamic State of West African province instead of the Fulani terrorist, killer Hesman, for the Undo Catholic Church attack because the Fulani soldiers, in collaboration with Fulani terrorist killer Hesman, carried out the senseless massacre. What an unserious and deceptive Fulani government led by the Buhari impostor. They always defend their Fulani terrorist mass murderers and try to deceive the Gullibus. Even if the attack was carried out by Islamic State, the question is how did they cross the Nigerian northern borders unchecked into Nigeria and moved freely through the numerous Nigerian army and police checkpoints in the south undetected. Why did it take this long for the Fulani Nigerian government to come up with these lies? The answer is that Nigeria has a terrorist government and the solution to all this lawlessness is disintegration. The Fulani Caliphate have set trap for Nigerians if they choose Tunubu as president. That will, that will set the template for a Muslim Muslim ticket. But if they elect Atiku Abubakar, a Fulani Janjaweed, then that will be the end of Southern presidents. The only option is Peter Obi, that is, if Nigeria still exists, because the Fulani terrorists will go all out in their jihadist conquest. The Fulani Janjaweed game plan and the trap is that they are using their plan C in order to achieve their plan A and B, which is Fulanization agenda. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.